old name, same content, and new plans. <laughs> We're heading into the future doing the Texas two-step. One step back, but two steps forward. So get on your dancing shoes and come with me and find out where I've been, where I'm at, and what we're going to do when we get there. Howdy, howdy, everyone. It's me, Rebecca, the colorful book nester at where exactly am I? <laughs> Today I'm sharing the various changes happening here on the Colorful Book Nester channel where we discuss books, do a bit of coloring, and share experiences and thoughts of an empty nester. So we're going to go through a couple of the changes and the first change you may have noticed was the name of the channel. It no longer says the Colorful Book Nester at Rivercrest Cottage. And why is that? Well, it has to do with the second change. We sold Rivercrest Cottage. Yeah, I hear you. I, I hear people going, what? Are you crazy? Did you really? And the answer is yes, we did. Um, so just like with everybody else, COVID-19, the last year and a half, has made lots of havoc and changes in life. And, you know, when something is negative and disheartening as that, uh, sometimes you got to find those silver linings and part of that is figuring out what you really want to do in life uh, figuring out what's important and the biggest thing that my husband and I discovered through this whole process was that we did want to be together a lot more we wanted to spend a lot more time you know having that constant fear that if he had gotten ill while he was down in the apartment in New York City and I was four and a half hours away in Vermont, um, and we know how rapid the illness could come on, just really, really started weighing on us. And with him spending as much time as he, he was, we got very, very comfortable with the support that each other have. And we've always been that way. I mean, he is my best friend. He is my biggest supporter and cheerleader. And I am for him. And when I'm down, he's up. And when he's down, I'm up. And we just keep helping each other get through you know, the everyday stresses of life, and there are plenty of stresses of life. So because of that, we just decided that in this stage in life, we didn't want to be separated anymore. And then the second thing that came to realization is though it was lovely having it, and it is an absolutely beautiful part of the world, and the house was, was lovely, it's not where we want to end up. It's not our end all. Um, it's not our ideal. Um, there's a lot of extra things that go along with owning a house and owning land and I can't seem to stop myself. You saw the gardening and everything that I did there. So we really regrouped and at some point I'll share more about this, uh, but that became the next part. And the other thing is having two separate properties. It just takes so much time, responsibility to upkeep both at the level that you want to keep them. Um, and so we were always temporary it felt like you know he was temporary when he was at the at the cottage i was temporary when i was in the apartment and we just basically want to be back together we're empty nesters this is the time we get to be the couple the solo couple we always wanted to be and what a great time you know we don't have the forward future challenges and responsibilities that we had as a young married couple raising a child so, um, not to mention the market. Come on, guys. We, I mean, the market is insane The set for sellers. It's crazy. And I don't think we'll be seeing quite that ease of selling. We literally, we're going to put the house on the market 4th of July weekend. So the week before that's when we made the decision, came out to take some pictures. We let one couple look at it a little bit earlier. Um, wasn't even on the market. They offered us the price plus a little bit and we took the bird in hand and accepted it. That was all the first week of July. We're now sitting here as of September 1st, completely done and dusted. And that is getting a whole house full of furniture and everything dispersed to the wind. Uh, do have some things in, in storage still, uh, largely books. Uh, <laughs> 
and uh, we're now living in the one bedroom apartment here across from New York City. Um, maybe it's temporary, the, the one bedroom. We would be looking to possibly getting a two bedroom, but for right now it is nice and cozy. So we go from being four and a half hours away with basically the equivalent of a three bedroom house um, in two separate places uh, to both of us here. So we'll see how much time we really want to spend with one another. No, actually the relief has been amazing. Now onto the channel. So once again, I'm restarting. I have kind of a history of doing this and for that purpose, I'm sorry. I do have, you know, the beginning and the stopping and the starting and the stopping. Um, but I really want to give it a, uh, another try, really good old college try there. And though we're going to continue with the same content of books and adult coloring, I do want to add on what else? One more thing. And though the love for the books and the coloring remains just as strong as ever, I've actually had to make some changes to those and I'll be sharing that with you. But also, I want to add a new aspect that's become very apparent in the last two years and needs to be addressed, and that is to embrace the fact that my hubby and I are empty nesters, uh, that we've entered a whole new stage in our life, and there is so much more to come as we continue to age, and I want to start sharing that. You know, things like making a decision, um, not being fearful of trying something new, uh, which was exactly what we did with the cottage. So. I'm looking forward to sharing more of that with you and I hope you will stick around. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of how you found me, I don't know because I'm sure I don't show up on any of the algorithms anymore for YouTube. But for those that have stuck around, thank you so much as always. Um, and I'm really hoping that this is a start of a new chapter, a new beginning on this channel. Just to let you know. Yeah, come here. Just to let you know, if you're seeing this video, it's because I filled four others and they'll be coming. So, hey, I, I made myself promise to myself. I said, look, I'm going to film this intro. I'm going to get myself excited. And then I've got to make four additional videos before this one goes up. And the reason being is because finding time, getting a schedule, getting into the groove of things takes time. And I didn't want to sit there and promise something and then something come up next week and it all falls apart. So if you're seeing this, there's at least four more videos that I'm going to be able to put up uh, on my channel. So it's a start. <laughs> Now, the last thing that I'm going to ask is I need some help. I have been in and out of this community so much and, you know, with, with, with being busy with life and all of life's changes and the constant changes, I've really kind of become disconnected and I don't know a lot of new channels and things that are kind of going on. So I'm asking you, if you will, down below, leave a comment suggesting some other channels, whether they be coloring channels, booktube channels, or if you know people that are empty nesters or older adults doing channels here on YouTube, could you share that with me? And of course with everybody else because they can see it. And if you have a channel and I haven't been to it or you've started it, I'd say in the last year or so, maybe even two years, please just note that you have a channel and what it's about because I'd love to go see more about you. One of the reasons I started my channel all those years ago, I think it's, what is it? Oh, I think it's five years now was because I wanted all the creators out there that were making content on YouTube that I was commenting on to kind of know who I was, to kind of get to know me. That's why I started the channel. So let me know if you have a channel. Let me know if you know of channels that I should be watching, looking at, that kind of thing, um, because I really want to start getting back into the community. So I hope to see you soon. <laughs> I hope you're seeing this, which means I have four more videos coming <laughs> at a minimum. I love speaking to you in the comments. I'm looking forward to that engagement some more. I have developed some wonderful friendships here on YouTube and um, I do count them as friendships. And in this day and age, when everybody's Zooming and online anyways, how different is it? You know, how, what is the big difference between you and I becoming friends and knowing one another than you and your colleague who are no longer sitting next to each other? So, you know, embrace the change. <laughs>